Hi, we're now in part two of lesson 1.4, solving absolute value equations. So our next examples have to do, or the next idea has to do with solving equations with two absolute values. So as you can see in the examples here, here, we have one absolute value equal to another absolute value. And to do this, we're going to do similar to what we did um, if the absolute value was just a positive value, we're going to have a positive case and a negative case. Uh, let's take a look at this negative case here real quick, um, just to make sure you understand what's going on here. It's the opposite of everything inside that uh, parentheses, uh, that, entire, uh, that entire expression here. So if I was to uh, expand this out, like the abs I would use like a distributive property, this would actually be similar to uh, negative CX minus D. So when the original one, both were positive, and the original one, uh, both, uh, we can look at this one, both are positive, positive CX, positive D. In the opposite, both things have to be negative. Okay, so let's uh, take a look what that's going to look like here. How do I solve this absolute value equation here? Okay. Well, I'm going to write uh, I'm going to write a couple cases here, and the first is going to be uh, 4x minus 10 is equal to 2, and this is this positive case. But I'm going to change these to parentheses here, right? This is the positive case of this. And then my second example, my second case, I should say my neg negative case, 4x minus 10 equals 2 times negative 3x minus 1. I took the opposite of both things in there. So this, this, uh, this expression and this expression are dead opposites. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, solve this, 4x minus 10 equals 6x plus 2. And now we have a type of uh, problem where you have um, variables on both sides. I'll subtract 4x from both sides. So I have negative 10 equals 2x plus 2. Right? So I've collected all of my uh, variable terms on the on the right and I'm going to collect all my um, constants on the left negative 2 minus two, I mean 2 minus 2 uh, is 0 so this gets me negative 12 equals 2x dividing the both sides by 2 negative 6 equals x. x equals negative 6. In the second case over here, let's uh, distribute 2 times negative 3x, 2 times negative 1. Okay, and I'm going to collect my uh, variables on uh, one side. So in this case, I'm going to add 6x to both sides. And again, I make that decision because I, this side will come out positive and it comes out a little bit neater. It saves me a step sometimes. I don't have to worry about dividing out a negative um, to get a positive variable at the end. Okay, then I can uh, add 10 to both sides. So 10x equals uh, negative 2 plus 10 is 8. So x equals 8 tenths. x equals 4 fifths. Okay, so these are my solutions here. All righty. That was fun. Let's take a look at another example here. Identify extraneous solutions. We have a new vocabulary word we need to worry about here. Extraneous. An extraneous solution is an apparent solution that must be rejected because it does not satisfy the original equation. Okay, so I made a mistake in my uh, 
problem here. This should be a plus sign. This is a plus sign, not an equal sign. That doesn't make any sense. That's a plus sign. Oops. Okay, so. Um, remember, so when we, when we write these uh, cases here, 2x uh, plus 12 equals 4x, and 2x plus 12 equals negative 4x. When we write these cases, um, we're creating two new equations. So we'll come up with solutions that satisfy these equations, but we have to check to make sure it works in the original equation. Um, so let's, uh, let's carry on here and see what we get. Um, I'll subtract 2x from both sides on the first one. That becomes a zero. I get 12 equals 2x and dividing both sides by 2, 6 equals x. In the uh, second problem, I'll subtract 2x from both sides. And that gets me 12 equals negative 6x. I'm adding those up. Dividing both sides by negative 6, I get x on the right. I get negative 2 on the left. Um, but look, if I plug this one, if I, if I substitute negative 2 for x in the original equation, the absolute value equation, the right side becomes a negative 8. An absolute value uh, cannot equal a negative number. So this one gets rejected, and this is my only solution. Okay, so make sure you, make sure you double check, especially when you have one variable inside the absolute value and one variable not in the absolute value. Make sure you double check to make sure that both of your solutions work. Example six, solving an equation with two absolute values, and again, extraneous solutions. So uh, we're going to do the same thing. We'll set the, uh, the left side up here as x plus 5, and it's going to be equal to x plus 11. In the negative case, x plus 5 is equal to negative x minus 11. All right, everything is the opposite. Okay, so this will be interesting. If I subtract x from this side and x from this side, they're going to cancel out altogether. And I get 5 equals 11. So this is a false statement, which means I, this, this yields no solution over here. Um, over here, let's see what happens if I, let's say I add x to both sides. And again, I like to try and keep things positive, getting rid of the negative x if I can. So I have 2x plus 5 equals negative 11. And then subtracting 5 from both sides. Two x equals negative sixteen. Dividing both sides by two, x equals negative eight. So in this case, I only have one solution. You can just run it through your brain real quick, quick by plugging it back into the original uh, uh, equation. Negative eight plus five would be negative three, so it's three on the left. Uh, negative 8 plus 11 would be a positive 3. They both have an absolute value of 3, so this one doesn't need to check out. So only one solution here. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and try these, and then you'll go ahead and put the answers into the end of the pod. Um, and that's it. That's it for this one. This one took a couple, uh, couple videos to make, but uh, we're doing okay. So thanks a lot. Have a great, great rest of your day.